Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. Today, we are going to start the Automatron DLC, and just to give everybody a heads up, this is a different character. My other character kind of glitched out, and I can't get the Automatron DLC to work, so I just made a new character, and we're going to do the DLC on this character, and then we'll move right back to the old Mr. John Wayne. All right, now with that being said, let's go ahead and go into our Pip-Boy. We're going to go over to the radio, and let's go ahead and turn on the Caravan Distress Frequency. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this message. Yes, sir. Let's go to the Watts Consumer first. I think it's Electric Consumer. I'm not sure. I know he just said it, but... Again, I wasn't paying attention. We're going to be going over there in just a minute. Ah, Watts Consumer Electronics. Okay. Let's go inside the door. We're going to grab a Total Hack magazine in here. I'm not going to worry about looting really too much. Just because this is a side character. Let's go into this terminal. That'll open up the door. We get a rad road trait here. What? I don't know how I missed a 95% uh, chance, but that happened. Let's uh, pick up nice. the total hack. This is so we can hack We're robots. Fan, huh? Or Protectrons. By the way, to be able to hack uh, um, Protectrons and the spotlights and the turrets and stuff, you have to have the um, tape on like in your inventory. If you put it away in like sanctuary and stuff, you're not going to be able to hack the turrets and stuff. So just keep that in mind. Let's go outside. Shit is popping off over here. Actually, let's crouch. I think this is going to be a two-part DLC. We'll have two episodes. I thought maybe I should just do it all in one episode. Have one really long episode. Um, but I didn't want it to be like too obnoxious. Oh damn! I am so lucky. I thought I was actually stepping away from the car. <laughs> I was going further towards the car. It's not a smart move. Oh, I want to pick this up. Robot repair kits are like stim packs for robots. Let's talk to Ada. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my... Family, again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. 
They must be targeting you for some reason. Probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turin, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench. So you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the Mechanist both protects the Commonwealth and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the Mechanist is stopped. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Let's go over to Jackson, pick up a hollow tape. We're going to have to go over here and find it. We ran into some hostile robots today. They were pieced together the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is, one of them was spouting something about the Mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah, protected my ass. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Shades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Sure Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even be on my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection. Let's fast travel to the General Atomics. I think it's General Atomics, right? Yep, General Atomics factory. I'll see everybody in a second. We've been over here before. This is uh, where we went through to get to the castle. And we ended up getting a magazine in here, too. But we, we came in here really quick. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you gotta be careful for them. <laughs> they can explode. We'll just pick up this magazine. Just in case I need to use this character again for some odd reason. Who knows? You never know. There we go. Where's this? Violence protocols engaged. Damn it, Ada. These uh, iBots will just be, that's what I was trying to get, will just be repeating the Mechanist hollow tape. Very obnoxious. By the way, for those of you that don't know, the Mechanist is um, from Fallout 3. I'll explain more after uh, we hack this terminal. So the Mechanist is from Fallout 3. Um, there was a quest... 
and Fallout 3 where you had to help the Mechanist or the Antagonizer, which was an ant lady. It's a pretty cool quest. I think it's really cool that they um, made a DLC for the Mechanist. I just find it to be a little lackluster. It's just short. And, I mean, that's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's just, you know... I want more story. Yeah, we're we're not really anywhere close to the level that I am on the other character just because I rushed through a lot of this stuff. So we we are going to be a little weaker in this DLC than normal. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with having a little challenge. I would advise shooting that robo brain behind the door. It's a little glitchy and like its arms and shit will pop through the door sometimes. And the reason why you should try to kill them through the door, which you don't have to, is they have a ability where it kind of makes you blind. Ruins up your sight. Oh damn. That's a legendary. We gotta step back. It's gonna blow up. Yep. Of course, I didn't step back. Fur enough. Fur enough. Alright. Look, Robo Brain. I really need you to die. Let's open up this terminal. There it is. Bastard. This is what we're looking for. This is a tracking device or tracking beacon or something like that. Or something like that. Finally got them to, or well, that I bought to stop um, playing the mechanist tape. Oh, nice. There's some um, Nuka World armor. Let's talk to Ada. Hey. Yes. Ada. Did you retrieve something from that robot? Have you seen a robot with a brain like that before? No, but my old caravan discovered records about them while we were scavenging military facilities. According to my databanks, it's called the Robo Brain. It was considered one of the most technologically superior robots ever constructed, but the model never reached full production status. Yeah, it had this interesting tech intriguing let's examine it impressive technology if my analysis is correct this is a specialized radar beacon i suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo brain you destroyed as the next logical step i need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage are you sure while there's only a 78.3 percent chance that i'm correct i'd like to point out that it's the only lead we have Let's just hope it's safe. I share your sentiment. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until a radar beacon is successfully installed. Let's go to Sanctuary and build a robot workbench. I'll see everybody at Sanctuary. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Yep. Whatever you say, Mama Murphy. I already built the robot workbench. So let's go ahead and talk to Ada. Hey. How may I be of service? Hey, Ada. Are you ready to install the radar beacon? Does it have to be you? I could install it on a different robot. My memory contains more relevant knowledge than any new robot you attempt to create. I appreciate your concern, but I can assure you I won't suffer any harm from the installation. So, are you ready? Time to operate. Just be certain you don't disconnect anything essential while you're rummaging through my circuitry. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. Let's install the radar beacon. It 
It's always fascinating watching you create. Now we gotta speak with Ada again. Hey. Yes, sir? Hey, Ada. A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Do you think the mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added failsafes to ensure my location is secure and prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. And this is important because... I will explain. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. All right, let's do it. Good. Let's get started. I'm uploading the location of the Robobrain to your Pip-Boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. Now, this part right here is going to be random. Each time you reload or a new playthrough, it's going to give you a different place where to find uh, the Robo Brain. So it could be anywhere in the Commonwealth. So you're the the spot that is going to pop up for you is going to be different than what is on mine. Let's go to this Robo Brain. I know I'm fast traveling everywhere. Um, but that's because I don't want to draw this DLC out longer than it needs to be. It's a shorter DLC, and if we walked everywhere, it would end up being like five or six videos. So hopefully that's not bugging anybody with me fast traveling everywhere. Over here is where those robots are. Looks like they're fighting something. We might want to be a little stealthy. Even though there's really no stealth on this character at all. Like I said, I, I rushed this character to about this part. I think we're level like maybe 31, 32. Which isn't a, a low level. It's just... Where the hell did these robots go? Oh. Ada stands right in the way. Lovely. I love that all your companions do that. The robo brain should be. Really? Let's grab and throw a grenade. Oh, that is not a grenade. That was a Molotov. You can slow me down, but you'll never stop me down you. Yeah, yeah that thing that you just that seen it shoot out of its head will make the screen go black for a minute and you won't be able to see. Oh, that's the thing that we needed to get, but I clicked through it too quick and I apologize. It's just another radar beacon. Let's talk to Ada. Hey. How may I be of service? Here you go, Ada. One slightly dented, but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist signal. 
Remind me how this beacon will get us closer to tracing the mechanist's signal? Each RoboBrain's radar beacon has unique encryption so that it can't be traced back to the source. However, acquiring two additional beacons should provide me with enough data to break the code. So if my theory is correct, this beacon will help us trace the mechanist's signal. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime, I've picked up another RoboBrain beacon signal. It should be the last one you'll need to collect. So, where exactly is the last RoboBrain located? Yes, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The RoboBrain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. Who or what are the Rust Devils? Allow me to explain. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, Despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? We're going to go to Fort Hagen in just a minute. I want to grab this. Oh, okay. Well, that magazine flew off somewhere. Oh, there it is. There we go. Let's go to Fort Hagen. Now that we're at Fort Hagen, we're going to bypass it. Go up this way. We're going to take a left and then a right. There should be an embankment right behind this. Um, I don't know, structure, whatever it is. And then the road will lead us straight up to Fort Hagen's satellite array. We want to be careful. There's a lot of robots and we're actually going to encounter the rust devils here. This is kind of their hideout, hangout. I like um, the Rust Devils raider fa as a raider faction. It's definitely a practical fra uh, fraction. <laughs> it's a practical fraction. Uh, it's definitely a practical faction. It's up there. There it is. Die, you stupid turret. Oh my god. Quit moving so I can kill you. Good lordy. Really? I oh, got one. Oh, I thought he was an iBot. He's using an iBot uh, head as his helmet, which is really cool. There we go. Killed them all. Nice. That's not too bad. We're going to come up here and... We have to go into this terminal and open, or well, unlock the door down there. Let's do that now. Then we can hop down and the door is open. We can go through the hatch. See everybody inside? This 
so now that we're in the Fort Hanger, or Fort Hagen hangar, God, <laughs> um, we want to be very careful. There is a lot of enemies in here, from robots to the Rust Devils, and they all can hit pretty hard. Again, that depends on your difficulty, your level, and please die, robot. <laughs> Let's back up. Any legendary ro robot nice ribbit, is going to blow up, which should blow up. Yep. Never fear, I can't we'll see. Really? With the Nobody grenades? That was amusingly simple. Be careful. I think somebody's coming through that door. At least it seems like it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, see, I knew there was somebody coming through that doorway. <laughs> Move, Ada. Oh, my goodness. Another. They, they are just fucking me up here. Oh wow! Jesus! I'll cover you, sir. Good stuff. Now just keep With running the grenades. and we'll pull it even. So many fucking grenades! Please clear the area until Dude, quit throwing the fucking grenades! So many assholes in here. Uh, there's just a turret in the back. Right there. No, oh, I didn't want the surgical device, tray. You be sure to let me know. Good. We need more stem packs. After all those grenades were being thrown. Take out this turret here in just a second. Damn, we have went through quite a bit of ammunition. I think I started out with something like 500. Now we're down to 265. And yeah, nothing really over here. Let's continue on. Oh, we can stand up. I'm going to come over on this railing or this platform. And that's just because we killed this guy. And he was a legendary. If he was just a normal enemy, I probably wouldn't have even bothered. But legendaries are good. No sign of him now. Alright, we're going to have this annoying music while we're trying to listen to a holotape. So whenever we... Uh, Grab the hollow tape here. I'm gonna backtrack. All right, brain box. Ivy wants me to find out what makes you tick. So let's get started. There's no need for that. I'm certain we can discuss this rather unfortunate situation before it gets completely out of hand. Now, what exactly did this Ivy tell you to do? Simple. She wants me to crack open that dome you have for a head and find out how your brain is connected to your circuits. Perhaps I can be of assistance in that regard. After all, there isn't much else I can do now that you remove my head from its chassis. How about we forge some sort of an accord just between the two of us? What the hell is an accord? You talking about wires or something? Right. 
I need to phrase this so even a dullard like you would understand. Let me put it this way. You need information that's going to make your boss happy. I want to keep my brain in one piece. Maybe we can cut a deal. Fine. I'm listening. I'll tell you everything I know about my own construction. All the bits that Ivy wants to hear. And I promise you, she won't be disappointed. In return, you keep those tools away from me and put me back onto my body. You get what you want, and I don't get dissected like some kind of a laboratory experiment. Do we have a deal? Well, that would save me a lot of time. And Ivy doesn't like waiting. Tell you what, you start talking, and I'll stop drilling. After I tell Ivy everything, we'll see how happy she really gets. But I think I'm gonna leave your head in that machine for now. Just in case you decide to get any smart ideas. How's that for a deal? <sighs> I suppose it will have to suffice. I mean, yeah, it's a deal. Now let's go talk to Jezebel. You don't look like one of the Rust Devils. What are you doing here? What did the Rust Devils do to you? They felt that by keeping my head online would prove useful to them. Fortunately for me, they're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly, it hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, back to my original question. What are you doing here? Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. How could I possibly help you? Willing to listen? How surprising. I'll take that as a gesture of good faith as I describe our potential bargain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Let's pick up her head and that robot, Ahab, is going to wake up as soon as we take her off. Oop. That was scary. Hang in there, sir. Reloading. You destroyed Ahab. Well, come on. Let's not wait around for more horrifying monstrosities. What 
touch the drip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today, thank you. It usually drops grenades if you trip off the trip wires or whatnot. So be careful. Fusion core right here if you want it. We're going to go into this terminal and we're going to grab out the hollow tape. This is going to be the automatron hollow tape. Continuing search for fugitive. You really are taking the path of most. Kill your target range. Uh, lost, but not forgotten. All right, Ada. What the hell, man? Try not to get myself killed here. Where, where the hell is it? Is that person? Nice. That's a sweet shot right there. Damn. You are beefy, aren't you? Just grab the ammunition and stuff off of that dead raider. I don't have very much ammunition left and I really, really don't want to use my pipe pistol. Ah, oh, shotgun trills. Ugh. Five millimeter. Don't need either one of those. Some more trip wires. Be very careful. If you trip off the trip wires here, it could possibly kill you. Especially if you trip off the one that is right there. You'll blow all that up. And you'll go out in a blaze of gore glory. Blaze of gory? Yeah, I, I suppose it would be gory. Based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. This is the one that ripped my head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. This is kind of a hard part, but not really. It's not that bad. But we are going to throw some grenades here. Bastard. I'm not a bastard. <laughs> die, Ivy. Just die. Please? Pretty, pretty, please? There we go. Had I a body, I would have killed her myself. Oh well. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Good job, human. Grab all these legendaries off of her. There we go. She had a robot with her, but we kind of blew it up when we threw those um, grenades, which is kind of the way you want to do that. It just makes everything easier. Uh, now let's get out of here. If you want to lockpick this, it's got a fat man and some nu uh, mini nukes behind there. I'm not really worried about it. 
with that assault tron head it's all right weapon i don't really use stuff like that let's uh go into this terminal and open up the door And then we will get out of here and we will call it a video. Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Hey. Yes. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about the Ada? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. Now that you have the final radar beacon, will it be enough to track down the mechanist's location? I certainly hope so. I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Why would you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Let's go over here and we'll end the video. I want to tell everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, everybody, have a great morning, great afternoon, or a great night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.